Okay, so what do databases do? Databases, regardless of what kind of databases, but as I said, we'll talk about relational databases, they always allow you to model the information. Remember, we talked about modeling. Modeling was create your information types, create your attributes, create your value patterns, right? All that kind of stuff. Create the relationships between um, information types, right? This time we're starting to merge this very quickly. We're going to merge this. Um, that's what they do. Databases allow you to do that. Databases also store information. It's like a file cabinet, a place to put all this information. It allows you to query the information. That is, ask questions about what information I have in there. It allows you to retrieve the results of those queries. So these are the basic operations. I model my information, which says how is my information put together, right? Just like we've been talking about all along, and that's what the database is going to do. Allows me to store that information in a highly organized way based on the model. It allows me to ask questions, query that information, find out do I have this kind of information, give me all the information that has these qualities to it, etc., etc. Just like we talked about queries in Google, same idea, a little bit different approach, but the same exact idea. I want to find out do I have information of such and such variety and then I get back results and I do something with those results. I, I display them in some way. That's what all databases will do. So let's dive into some of those and um, give some examples and show you how the idea, of, first of all, show you how the idea of modeling um, that we talked about earlier and the idea of modeling in relational databases is really one and the same.